This is Hot Trash. I'm Kelly Hudson. Everybody is buzzing like horny little bees about the Academy Awards show last night. Especially all the dumb idiots in this studio. Won't they shut up? <laughs> Let's look at some of the highlights. First up, Baby, baby Bumps. Everyone knows that Jennifer Lawrence is a pussy chowing hound. So when she showed up at the Oscars with a hump in her lumps, we were dying to know who the baster was. <laughs> Who's juicing your turkey, huh? Hmm? Who's doing it, Jen? Let us know. The red carpet itself had something to show off last night. Let's hope there's a little red carpet in there or you're gonna have some splaining to do to your bow, Mr. Red Carpet. No Oscar night would be complete without plenty of snubs. And most surprising was the Academy's refusal to acknowledge Sophie's choice too, Waikiki Adventure. The Academy also passed on I Aikman, a Troy Aikman story, a life lived Troy. This beautiful black and white epic depicted retired Dallas Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman staring into a handheld mirror for six straight hours. But what about Pinky, everyone's favorite new Pixar classic? This story about one man's smaller than usual penis and the adventures it has was surprisingly overlooked by even the animated feature category. But we here at Hot Trash love Pinky. <laughs> And our favorite part of the Oscars is always that sad, sad list of dead people, the in memoriam reel. One highlight was definitely Marty Banks, the gaffer and elderly dirtbag. Just two months ago, this old sleazebag was licking his lips and telling women, you look like my great granddaughter, but you ain't my great granddaughter, and gaffing like crazy. But now he's dead and we're all just a little bit happy. Also, dead man Steve Jobs was honored this year with a special interactive part of the awards in which audience members were asked to get out their iPhones and check their email. Phyllis Diller still managed to crack us up from beyond the grave when her photo was displayed upside down on the big screen and on television screens across America. Hilarious, Phyllis. Mad respect. And finally, we said farewell to a cloud that was shaped a little like a rhinoceros when it was scattered by a southern wind. A sad year indeed. And that's all for us tonight. Keep reaching for the stars and looking out your windows. Is that right?